Hi friends, happy Saturday. It is just before 7 a.m. and I, of course, am at the grocery store. So I'm gonna be heading in to Fred Meyer, which is a Kroger store, to do some shopping. I also have a Trader Joe's, a Walmart, and a Costco haul coming your way as well. So if you wanna see all of the groceries that I picked up, for the week from all of the stores. Hopefully I'll give you some great ideas. And at the end, I'm gonna show you both my meal plan for the week as well as what is on the agenda for meal prep. So if you wanna see all the good stuff for the upcoming week, then all you have to do is stay tuned. So here's what I picked up from Walmart as part of my groceries for the week. I just did a quick Walmart pickup. What is not shown is just a case of water. So I grabbed two bags of the Bird's Eye Veggie Made Mac and Cheese. I love this. Last time I did a pickup, they were out of this. So they substituted the penny, which is good, but I think that the mac and cheese is a lot better. So I was excited that they did have the two bags that I had ordered. Also, I've been wanting to pick this up for the last few orders and it has been out of stock. This is a cute little four tablespoon measuring cup. I wanted this for coffee a lot easier than putting it into individual tablespoons. Two bucks and again, they've been out of it. So finally they had it in stock. So I picked that up. I also grabbed some Velveeta slices. We are going to be going camping and I wanted these for hamburgers. One smart point a slice, so not bad at all. Also, fat-free cream cheese. Fred Meyer does not have this, so I had to pick it up at Walmart. As you know, I just throw it in the freezer until I'm ready to use it, so I picked up two fat-free cream cheese. I did get a lot of cheese. I grabbed the shredded part skim mozzarella cheese for pizzas and recipes. I also grabbed Colby and Monterey Jack for my husband. This is just regular full fat cheese. But I did wanna show this to you guys. A lot of you have transitioned from low fat or fat free cheeses. So I'll give you the points for just regular Colby and Monterey Jack. And then I also picked up the Colby and Monterey Jack full fat cheese slices. Mint extract, I really like to have this in my coffee, so I grabbed a container of the mint extract. Couple of yogurts, I really like the Oikos Triple Zero in chocolate. This is so good in a Smart Cake Parfait, so I picked up one of those. And another one of the Light and Fit Lemon Meringue. Again, I really like this with the orange Smart Cakes in a Parfait. Sugar-free Devil's Food Cake Mix. This is for an upcoming recipe that you guys will be seeing in meal prep. And I got these for my husband. He doesn't like chocolate or white chocolate. And I have bought the strawberry ones before. So this is a big box of the Chewy Yogurt Granola Bars. Seven strawberry and seven blueberry. These are actually really good. So I picked that up for his lunches. Of course, my Hershey's Whipped Topping. You know that I love this. Great on parfaits, great on coffee, just great on desserts in general, especially on those little sugar-free pudding cups. Just put a little dollop for zero points. So good. And lastly, besides the case of water, I grabbed some silk almond coconut milk, unsweetened. This is my favorite milk by far for milk alternative. So that is everything that I picked up this week from Walmart. So here's what I picked up from Costco. There isn't much food, but I wanted to add this to my grocery haul just to kind of show you guys a few of the food items that I grabbed. So of course, bath tissue, best price ever at Costco, $16.99 for this huge pack. This lasts us a few months in our house. So definitely a good deal. Costco had these really cute pullover fleece sweatshirts on sale for $7.99. So I got this grayish black colored one, loved it. They also had their joggers. I love this purple color. I'll probably end up wearing these more like pajamas, but these were $8.99. Bargain and a half. They're super, super soft. So if your Costco has them, they're currently on sale. I've been seeing this all over and this is the Good Foods Avocado Salsa. I heard that this salsa is absolutely amazing. So I wanted to grab it. I think it would be really good on chicken, any type of Mexican dish, even on eggs. So I picked it up. I cannot wait to give it a try. I also got this really cute skirt. It is kind of one of those 
thick waist banded skirts and then it goes right below the knee and flares out. I thought it was really cute and it was on clearance for five bucks. Cannot beat it. And then as you know, I've been loving these Tyson black and chicken breasts. I really, truly love these. They are my very favorite thing. They're so easy. You can just simply microwave them, throw them in the air fryer, pop them in the oven. They taste delish. So I picked up another bag of those, $14. And then my favorite chicken, of course, comes from Costco. In my opinion, they have the best price for quality chicken. This particular chicken breast does not have rib meat. So it is a true zero point chicken breast. It was just under $25 here for about eight pounds. So it is $2.99 a pound, which is not bad for a really quality, fresh, natural chicken breast. So they come in these individual little packages. There's about two chicken breasts per package. So I just split them down the seams and throw them in my freezer. So easy, easy. I also picked up my husband a bottle of Irish death beer just as a nice surprise. So that was everything that I grabbed at Costco. My total was about $90. $2. So here's what I picked up this week at Trader Joe's. I just mainly went for mozzarella cheese, but as you can see, I left with way more than mozzarella cheese. So let me show you what I picked up. So first non-food item, flowers. Trader Joe's has the best price on flowers. $3.99 for these, and they literally last weeks, three to four weeks. So such a good deal. I like to put them in a vase on my island in my kitchen, so I grabbed those. I picked up two containers of the Trader Joe's Coconut Cold Brew Coffee Concentrate. So this jar makes four 12-ounce cups of coffee, zero calories. Well, I think it has calories. Yeah, 10 calories, but zero points. Uh, for coffee. I heard this is absolutely amazing. So I picked up some creamer to pair with it. You could add a little bit of flavoring. So I'm really excited to try this. This again is the coconut cold brew coffee concentrate. I heard this is a seasonal item, so it probably won't be around forever. So I grabbed two. It is not refrigerated, so you can just leave it in your pantry. So I'm really excited to make kind of a cold brew coffee with those. Yum. I have not had these in so long and they sounded so good. These are the Trader Joe's Bomba peanut snacks. These are a peanut butter puff. They legit taste like peanut butter. I opened them, so let me show you what they look like. They're like a little puff, but they have a creamy, delicious peanut butter on them. So the smart points are a little bit high for a full serving, but I'm gonna give you some options on the screen here. By knocking down the number of Bombas that you have, it lowers the number of points, and they, they really truly are absolutely delicious, satisfying because of the peanut butter, yum. I also grabbed these. Um, I know they're a little bit high in points, but I thought, how good does this sound? With a cup of coffee and an egg for breakfast, this is the Trader Giotto's Chocolate Almond Biscotti. Look at these, you guys, yum. And on the back, they are only 120 calories, but they do have eight grams of sugar, so that's what kind of bumps up the points. But I thought I'd give them a try. They, again, would be nice to have with a cup of coffee. Uh, if you're only counting points for this, that's not too bad of a breakfast. So I'm gonna toss those in my pantry. This is another thing that I rediscovered. I used to eat these all the time. These are so incredibly delicious. They're great by themselves. They're amazing with hummus. This is the Trader Joe's Roasted Gorgonzola Crackers. So good, you guys. I mean, so good. So here's your nutritional information. It is a total of 31 crackers for the smart points on the screen. Now, of course, you can bump down the number of crackers and bump down the points. They're just a really, really good snack. You literally could eat them by yourself to lower the points of a snack, and they are so good. My husband wanted apple juice, so of course this isn't for me, but I will put the points on the screen. That way you guys kind of know how many points are in it just for future reference if you did want to pick it up for yourself. Now, I grabbed this coconut creamer to have with my coconut cold brew because clearly I'm digging some coconut. Zero smart points for this. It is creamy. It is delicious. So I grabbed that, and again, I'm gonna pair that with that coconut cold brew coffee. And this is what I went to Trader Joe's for, which is the organic shredded mozzarella. Now, this is going to take the place of the light shredded mozzarella until it returns next year. This mozzarella is two smart points per serving. You guys, it is so good. It is creamy and full of flavor, so good. And it is so expensive. It's $4.99 a package. So I grabbed two. 
I just want to have it on hand. It's a low point option. It tastes like real full fat cheese. So I highly recommend it if you're okay spending a little bit extra on some delicious mozzarella cheese. I also grabbed some frozen peppers. I seem to find myself in a pickle where I'm cutting up peppers a lot. So I thought I'm just going to grab this melange et toi uh, of peppers. I'm just going to throw it in my freezer and then I can just pop a handful in my eggs or my breakfast. So just to have on hand, they were so cheap and of course zero points. And then we've been out of these for a while. This is the Trader Joe's mashed potatoes. These are like little pellets of mashed potatoes. All you do is add a little water and they are real creamy, thick potatoes. And the Smart Points is so good on them. So good, really quick, easy way to make potatoes for a weeknight dinner when you don't have a lot of time. So picked up a bag of those. So that is everything that I grabbed this week at Trader Joe's. So here's my grocery haul from Fred Meyer or Kroger. It is called different things in different areas, but this is everything that I picked up at my local Fred Meyer. So first I grabbed some new creamer. I have heard that this Almond Breeze creamer is really good. This is the vanilla. It is the same Smart Points as the Coffee Mate Sugar Free. So it is one Smart Point for up to three tablespoons. So I grabbed the vanilla Almond Breeze creamer. And of course I picked up a, another can of my Fat Free Ready Whip. I love this. You can have the zero points worth of this on a dessert. And it just kind of finishes it off, makes it taste delicious. So that is a staple in my house. I also picked up a jar of roasted red peppers and this is just in water. So these are zero smart points. This is for an upcoming recipe. Also, I grabbed some dill relish. We will be going camping this next weekend. So I wanted to have this for hot dogs, hamburgers, and my husband is gonna have tuna fish sandwiches this week for lunch. So I grabbed some dill relish. For a recipe, I grabbed a container of Barilla Pesto. This is a little high in points, but you don't have to use very much and it is so good. This is a really good brand of pesto. So I picked that up. Canadian bacon, this is for breakfast sandwiches while we're camping. We're gonna be doing English muffin breakfast sandwiches. So I grabbed some Canadian bacon. Turkey dogs, these are for camping. These were the lowest point ones that I could find at my store. And I believe these are two smart points a piece, which is not bad. And then you pair it with a bun and you have a pretty low point dinner or lunch for camping. So I have the uncured turkey breast franks. Eggs, Pete and Jerry's organic eggs were on sale again. These eggs are actually really, really good. $4.99 a dozen, so I grabbed a dozen of those. Of course, another pack of my favorite bacon, the Private Selection Center Cut Bacon. I love this bacon and I need this for an upcoming recipe. Mozzarella cheese. Again, this is for a dinner recipe this next week and this is just a big block of fresh mozzarella cheese. Natural turkey breast. This is for my lunch prep. So you will see that on meal prep Monday. So I'm going to be making a delicious wrap for lunch. So I grabbed some applewood smoked natural turkey breast. And for those wraps, I picked up another pack of the Tomorrow's Carbwise Premium White. I like these wraps better than the Olay. I like them both, but I've kind of grown pretty attached to these. They're a little more expensive, not by much, less than 50 cents, but I really like them, the texture, the taste. So I picked those up for lunch prep. Can of tuna fish, of course, this is for my husband's sandwiches for the upcoming work week. I had a coupon for the Simple Truth tomato paste in the tube, so I just grabbed it just to throw it in my pantry. I'm about out of my Trader Joe's tomato paste. I really like it in the tube. It lasts longer. It's easier to use. You don't have to open a can for one tablespoon and throw away the rest. So I just really prefer it in the tube, so I picked that up. Also a couple packs of rice just to have on hand for easy side dishes. More for my husband, but the Uncle Ben's Ready Rice and Chicken and Broccoli, and then the Kroger 90 Second Jasmine Rice, just in a hurry if we want some jasmine rice really quickly. That is our favorite rice, so I picked those up. Another package of the Reduced Sugar Dried Cranberries, just to have on hand. I really like these in salads, and I may add these to my wrap. So I grabbed them just to have them available. Picked up some marinades. I'd never bought the Korean barbecue, but I love these Grill Mates marinades. Love them. So I grabbed the Korean barbecue, and then I also grabbed the mesquite, which is my favorite, and some fajita mix, which is for an upcoming dinner recipe. And everything else I have for you is produce. So I have a bag of shredded lettuce. This is for my wraps for lunch meal prep. 
four avocados, which is always for, which is also for my lunch wraps arugula, which is for a recipe, and then I think I might toss some of this in my wrap for that really good peppery lettuce taste. Cherries, these were on sale for $1.99 a pound again, so I grabbed a big bag of dark red cherries. Blueberries, this was a steal, $2.99 for this big container, so I picked that up. A red and orange pepper for a dinner recipe. Three Roma tomatoes again for a recipe. Green onions and asparagus. So that is everything that I picked up for the week, minus some Diet Coke and a case of water. So now let's get into this week's meal plan. So let's get into this week's meal plan. This is my Cariel meal planner. You know I love my meal planner so much. I have the large one, the eight by 11. It's awesome, it's comprehensive, it's beautiful. I love it. There are several tabs for your planning needs. So there's a tab for resources, which allows you to track your favorite websites, meal planning blogs, and recipe sites. I need to sit down and fill this out because I've been finding some really good recipe sites lately, so I need to jot those down. There's also a tab for inventory, which is also on my to-do list, and that is to inventory your freezer and your pantry, so it just gives you a chance to inventory things that you have on hand so you're not duplicate buying, but also so you know when things expire and need to be replaced. There is the meal plans tab, which we will come back to. Then there's the gatherings tab. This tab is pretty awesome. I've used the grocery list from one of these, but it gives you a chance to plan any type of gathering or event. You can plan your meals, and then you also have a detachable grocery list to take with you to pick up the products for your gathering. And then the last tab is the notes tab, and I do use this to jot down recipes that I find online. You can kind of keep track of things, jot down notes, and then in the very back of the meal planner is a cute little pocketed folder, both sides, so that you can pop things in there that you want to keep. So let's go back to the yellow tab, which is the meal plan tab. So when you first open it up, you're going to see that you have the option to plan your menus by the month. I do this every single week. I will jot down what is on my meal plan for the week. That way I know what meats to take out of the freezer the night before. And it also reminds me to do a double check that I have everything on hand to prepare that meal. So if I need to run to the store, I'm not panicked when I go to make dinner and I don't have all of my ingredients. So I do track my monthly uh, meals by the week on the monthly tracker. Each week you're going to have a weekly menu where you can list out exactly what is on your menu for the week. And then there is a detachable grocery list. I use this every week where you can make note of everything you need to pick up for the groceries. It is so nice. It really is just a very comprehensive, gorgeous meal planner. So let's get into this week. So my week goes Saturday through Friday. So Saturdays is the day that I use my weekly. So we usually go out to breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So I don't plan a meal for Saturday. Tomorrow I'm going to be making Fontina rolled chicken. So this is a rolled chicken. It sounds really good. And we're going to pair that with some vegetables. Monday I'll be making Parmesan meatballs in my air fryer with some pasta and some vegetables. Again, sounds delicious. Tuesday, I'm going to be doing steak fajita roll-ups, and this is going to be a low-carb meal. So I'm going to be implementing a series on my channel for low-carb meals as well. So those of you that kind of stick to a low-carb menu but also follow Weight Watchers, these should be some great recipes for you to have in your arsenal. Wednesday is a 30-minute meal, and this is peanut noodles with chicken. So of course, you'll see that in an upcoming 30-minute meal recipe video. And then I am going camping this weekend, Thursday and Friday. So I will be doing another What I Eat While Camping vlog. You guys seem to really like seeing the fun that we had camping. We are going to Sandpoint, Idaho and renting a cabin right on the lake. So we are so incredibly excited. So I'll take you guys along with me on that camping trip. So I'll be showing you the food that I'll be bringing and kind of what's on the menu for camping. On the back side is where I plan what is going to be made for meal prep. So for breakfast this next week, I'm going to be making protein sheet pancakes. So these are kind of all the rage right now where you make a big sheet pan of pancakes. And I'm going to be using some protein powder in mine to kind of up my protein. I'll be pairing that with some turkey bacon and some eggs. 
For lunches this week, I'll be doing a California turkey wrap, which sounds so good. And I'm also going to be making a pesto pasta salad. And I'll be taking that with me, whatever's left over for camping. So sounds really good. And then for dessert, I was going to make caramel pretzel brownies, but they did not have any of the brownie mix I wanted at the store. So instead, I'm gonna be making caramel pretzel cupcakes. So I'm really excited to take you guys along on that recipe. So you'll be seeing all of what I have here planned for meal prep on my video on meal prep Monday. So that is my meal plan for the week. This is my Carriel meal planner. If you want to pick up a planner for yourself, which I highly recommend, you can go to her website and use the code here on the screen to get 10% off. So great way to keep on track, to plan your meals, to be on the ball when it comes to your weight loss journey. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing my hauls from all four stores. It was quite a shopping week, but I have everything that I need for the week as well as our upcoming camping trip. So hopefully I showed you some new things or some things that you weren't aware of that you could implement into your healthy journey. So if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would take a moment and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every single time that I upload a new video. Thumbs up this one and comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this week's grocery haul and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.